Kick it because that's what I do. I kept it on my feet. But she still pop on me. The camera fell on the I ground. I was just gonna watch it fall. I could have. It was. It's okay though. It's okay. It was falling here at the oh. camera, but I did not think we were. <laughs> uh, but we're in uh, Test Drive. Yeah. And come look at this cool car there design. Yeah. Look at that. 94 efficiency. <laughs> Solar panels. That's where it's all about. <laughs> Displaying responsiveness data. Here comes the final test. Energizing for power test. Woo! Oh, it feels cold. The lights go on, and then he'll wag his tail. But where is the good picture? Oh, I didn't realize that there was the family members. No. Neither did I. You can't really see it great in the in the camera. Wow. That was beautiful. Such a surprise. So we got front row of the Grand Fiesta tour. That was the first time we've been in the front row and I was kind of scared. I mean, I wasn't <laughs> scared, but like, there's not much to the boat in front of you that's stopping like a small child or someone being ridiculous, like falling in. Also it's such like a vacation ride for us because we don't necessarily always do it when we're here. Like I don't remember the last time we did it. So We've only done it, it I think one of the times since we moved here. Doing it like no more than twice. And feels like vacation. we've done it twice since we've here, so now we've done it three times. So yeah, it's definitely not a regular for us. Yeah, but it's, it's so good. I'm still bitter that the the band from Coco is gone. What a wonderful surprise! We thought this was only on the weekends. We're such noobs at Festival of the Arts. So
That was a great little surprise of the Disney on Broadway. But we saw those two last year and they were awesome. But we're in Japan now because we also don't come in here all the time and I don't watch these yet, but I really want that chicken thing. With the three chicks. Yeah, those are really cute. Can we get that for my birthday next year? Oh, it starts again. And here, oh, look at all the movies are right here. $30 a pop. We found the answer to my needs. Look at all the different spoon rests. All over here. I think I like this one over here that looks like it's from Avatar The Last Airbender. That is cool. But that reminds me of anthropology. But I kind of like this one. This one goes with our kitchen more. Yes, from yeah. Japan. It's four dollars. Can we get one? Let's find one. Okay, okay. We have a winner. Here it is. We got it because it's a cool looking, cool looking fishy fish. Kind of chubby. Good size. Good color. Four bucks. And it's like the shape of a spoon. So it's perfect. So. My whole life just changed just now. Okay, so this happened. <laughs> and it's not the healthiest, but... It might not be here forever. It might not be and here it's forever. it's like our favorite thing. And it's going to help Sarah's throat because she has a sore throat. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting sick. Though. We got water. It's the Canadian beer cheese soup from Canada. With cheese curds on fries. on fries. And we got our spot for illuminations, reflections of Earth. Here it comes. Sarah had a rough start to the day, and I, I hope that the end of her day is much better. She still had a allergic reaction this morning. She has a sore throat, she had a headache earlier. Her eyeballs were falling out. But now, how do you feel? Like I'm in heaven. With that fresh bite of a poutine. The beer cheese soup is so good. That's straight cheese curd. Take it, take it, take it. With a french fry? Yeah. And though each of us has our own individual stories to tell, a true adventure emerges when we bring them all together as one. We hope you enjoy our story tonight, Reflections of Earth. We just got free cronuts! <laughs> We're so bad right now. So this is a cronut. And then this is, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't have the same filling. It has special pearls on it. It's magic. Magic. Ah. Woo. Woo. Was that magical or what? The entire Family, thank you for We're waiting for one of those magical photos outside of Epcot. We're in front of Epcot. Watch. So they pose for six seconds, and then when they pose for six seconds, she runs across with that light and it does some crazy cool light stuff with the long exposure. We'll put our photo in there if we, it works out. Look at we're home, and someone was being a really good girl. So we're going to give her the rest of her cake. There you go. Have at it, baby girl. You deserve it. Happy birthday again. No, we're not giving you all that tonight, though. Okay, here's the test. Coffee. Dish. Grab a spoon. Mix the coffee. Hmm. I'm okay with either way. I'm okay with this. I'll pop that's actually this is gonna be helping them leave like that. Perfect. And then now let's put away. I've literally waited like 15 years. I've wanted one of those. Why it took me 15 years to get one? Because it was four dollars with tax. I don't know, but I have it now. And now I can stop leaving a napkin next to my pot of coffee on the weekends with a nasty coffee spoon seeping through it like I've been doing for 15 years. And yes, I'm not perfect. That's what I would do. And I would seep through, leave coffee marks, and I'd clean it up, it was a mess. No more. Once again, it is quite late, but as I fell asleep, we were just relaxing watching TV. Um, 
so it's bedtime now. Thank you for following along. Epcot was a lot of fun. I want to get back there early over the weekend at some point because of seeing like the art stuff during the day because there's only a couple weekends left to Festival of the Arts. So thank you for following along. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Um, let us know down below what you'd like to see. Um, tomorrow will be interesting because there's a really cool launch happening at uh, Cape Canaveral for SpaceX. And then the evening we're doing something different with the vlog because we have to get a couple of things done. You'll see tomorrow, but I'm excited about it. It's gonna kind of be like a informational but still fun vlog. So we'll just have to continue that story tomorrow. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.